A couple of things we love to throw down on our flat top griddle, our burgers, and copycats. Today we're combining the two to make a burger that I absolutely love and Adam has yet to try. You wanna see our take on this bacon guacamole burger? Stick around while we dig, dig in. Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brent. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in the Backyard Diner, as Brett said, especially these copycats. Even with these burgers now, I will say, I had pointed out to Brett the other day when he mentioned this, I said, man, we've thrown down so many burgers lately, though. Like, it's almost like burger overkill, and then it's like, well, can you really Is ever do though? too many? <laughs> can you do too many burgers? There are so many great ways to do burgers. In fact, we always bring this point up. Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue. Love me some Greg. He realized there's so many great burgers that he developed a second YouTube channel called Ballistic Burgers. Yeah, and it's not hurting. They're doing pretty good over there because <laughs> there you got a so solid great gig there going on, buddy. Right. And a lot of times, what he does is he deconstructs these copycats and recreates them and figures out a way to make them at home. And this is one we're not going to do a whole deconstruction process. Yep, we're just going to make it our own, really. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I got to give Greg credit for the first time that I really did a some type of a copycat. Is he did Five Guys? Oh yeah. And I redid what he did. And I'm not gonna lie, since then, I have liked our burgers better than pretty much anywhere else, including Five Guys, so shout out to Greg. It's so funny you say that, and I would never take anything away from a great, uh, a very successful food chain at all. We consider ourselves foodies, we are food connoisseurs. Obviously. And we respect the <laughs> art, and those that, would ha that have had great success, although the last time I went to Five Guys, I couldn't decide why the burger just uh, left me wanting more, and it was my wife who pointed out, well, Adam, you guys just make better food at this point, and I hadn't thought of that, but not you trying do to get be better and better. Though, she's, right. she's, they're, they're, when you do it enough, it. you yes. do it enough, you start to figure out what works, and this one works. Now, I've never had this, like Brett said, but I'm super excited to try this, but Brett, go ahead and get to the groceries, yeah, unless you want to say something first. Uh, no, I'll explain it as we go, but here we are with the groceries. We are just gonna make a double, we're gonna split it here today, so we got two meatball patties that we're actually gonna be doing a semi-smash, we'll explain right. that when we do it. Larger put than we normally would with the smash burger, but. Correct, and we're gonna put be putting them on these Nature's Own craft brioche bonds, we love them. And then of course, here we go, the star of the show, guacamole, we got bacon, and we're actually using Gouda cheese for these because Adam won the argument on that. <laughs> I've got American True story. cheese. True story. I've got American cheese in the fridge, but it's all in the big it's block. what I wanted, like, yes. We'd have to tear it all down and individually, uh, not individually wrap them, slice but prep it. it, slice. The slices, they're already sliced, so oh, they're oh. pre-sliced, but it's a big old package well, that's that we have to get. That's what won the combo, because I thought we were gonna have to slice them, but no. here we are with the Gouda, and I'm okay with that, because Gouda is, is so Gouda. Gouda. We yes. love Gouda, and uh, I'm really excited to use this one. So our own little twist on this for sure. Yeah. And uh, it's Brett said that the of the show guacamole and then bacon or is it bacon first and then guacamole? Well it is called a bacon guacamole burger. So. Is it guacamole or guacamole? Comment below. <laughs> This is not a tomato tomato type situation. <laughs> Anyways, Brett, we're gonna switch oh the egg and we're gonna get to the cook. It's just a, another typical burger cook. We already did prep the guacamole. We made it from scratch inside and we'll put a link to that video of how we do it there. Uh, just a couple of clips real quick. It is super simple. Some really basic ingredients. We got avocados, some fresh avocados. We This one we used Roma tomato. One Roma tomato, right? Correct. One yeah. Roma tomato about- And it almost rendered too much tomato for right? this uh, guacamole mix. Right, a little bit of lime juice, some salt, pepper, garlic, uh, cilantro as well salt as yeah. uh, as a red onion. Lime juice, salt did you pepper, say? Lime juice, I said it all. I think we got uh, it all covered The only thing there. we don't have is tongs for the beehawken. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and switch angles while Brett goes and get some tongs. All right, now one thing I like to do before, this is the way I cook it because I'm doing the cook, I get to choose this. So I actually like to put salt and pepper on the burger beforehand. And then it, if it looks like I'm putting a lot, it's because I'm only doing one side and so therefore it's gonna make up for the whole burger. Right. And another trick we lear learn when we smash these, we do put them on the griddle and then flip them before we smash them, mm -hmm. which uh, keeps the griddle from, uh, or keeps them from sticking to the, um, to the press, which yep. is good. So we're just gonna lay that down. Now, if we were Still using, too? if we were using our uh, our Blackstone or Cold Road Steel, we might actually put a little bit of oil, even with bacon. Uh, maybe put. Oh yeah, that's right. That's all we need. Not one piece for snacking though. No snacking bacon tonight. Adam. Okay. So we are just making one burger, as Brett said. That is the loneliest bacon I have ever seen. I'll come hang with it. Yeah. Well, we're gonna speed this process up. We've done bacon so many times on this channel. If you've been to our channel, you know that I am a flipper. I like to flip 
my bacon regularly. And that's me, okay, no judgment here. To me, it helps me regulate the overall cook of the bacon. Brett is a one and done, and then one and done. And let's just say sometime his bacon, he might he might be what you say, uh, an appreciator of bacon dust. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I knew it was going to overdone. Shout out to Flat Top King for telling me that one, man. Dude, Neil, you got it going on. You got to check out. You got to check out Neil over at Flat Top King, who recently did get one of the uh, Ultimate Griddles yep. and is testing it out. So you know that we absolutely love these things. This Pit Boss Sierra Griddle, by the way, is an exclusive to Walmart. Yep. We have been blown away by it. It continues to impress. It does. Um, we've never, we haven't really had a whole lot of issues with this. It has exceeded all of our expectations. It has. We're at what now? About 30 or over 30 cooks on this thing. Oh, almost 40 cooks, yeah. And when I'm done wiping it down after every cook, it looks the same as day one. Right, uh, that's the crazy thing about yeah. it. Yeah. As a good friend, uh, uh, Jason White pointed, it is a no fuss cook yep. and clean up, which we absolutely Takes the love. fuss out of it, exactly. All right, so let's get to the bacon. We're gonna let this bacon cook up and then we'll get to the next stage really, which is cooking the burgers. So All right, so we're gonna go ahead and toast the buns up. No butter, no mayo. We're just really just getting them toasted, really. Right. Just get them nice, hot and toasty and uh, this works as well. If I were doing this, Brett, mm -hmm. Uh, and this were just for me and my family, I would probably put mayo on this. Sure. But uh, I don't mind just toasting it like this. It just gets them nice and hot, and uh, for whatever reason, just yep. gives a better, the, the bread a different texture. And also, also like we when we did the, uh, the In-N-Out copycat, I like that they toast both sides of the bun, and I actually do that when yes. I get these at home. So and therefore, be doing the same these thing. buns are also gonna be. Oh, look how quickly that's toasting. Mm -hmm. This is a hot side because we are going oh, yeah. hot for the sear. I don't so turn, actually, yeah, yeah turn, turn it down. Wow. I turn it medium. Wow. Medium, medium is plenty hot on this thing because that's the hottest part of the griddle. So there we go. See how it's just lightly brown there. We got lightly brown there. That is what I'm looking for, and we're ready now. We're just waiting for the bee haken, and then this will move and groove after that. Wait, it will both move and groove. You have no idea, bro. All right, and we're pulling the last piece of bee haken. All right, and, and we do remind people that. Uh, especially if you struggle with bacon, remember it's going to continue to cook. You pull it just a little bit before you think you would need. Mm -hmm, because so Brett's just getting rid of some of those little gunkies. <laughs> gunkies! <laughs> but we're going to keep most of the bacon grease because that's what we're going to cook the burgers in. And that thing is screaming hot. So Brett, we're ready for the next phase. Would you say phase three? Because phase one was bacon, phase two was toasting the buns. No, phase one was toasting the buns. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. Technically, yeah, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get the bergs on. Listen to that. Now we wanna spread these out because they are going to flat. Oh, we're only doing a semi smash. Yeah. So after just a few seconds, that thing is screaming. So Brett just gonna kind of, oh dude, that's just moving so quick. Look at that. So you've got this a little bit of a sear. Ground. That will actually help us to make sure that it's not gonna stick to the uh, press. So Brett, go ahead and get your press on. Here we go. Now again, I'm not doing a hard, a smash all the way down. Right. I'm doing what we're calling a semi smash. So with one hand, I'm gonna take down and hold it right here. There, you go. there we go. And you can see it's not completely flattened. Oh, look at that just slide up. That thing's ready to go. Ready to scoop and serve almost. All right, those are loosened up and ready to flip it. Got to see that light Maillard reaction we got right there. And now we weren't going for a full Maillard reaction which is where you get that huge crust. We just wanted a little bit of a press to get Correct. the burger nice the way we wanted. And look at that.
Well, there it is. And one thing that Brett didn't do when he went to cut it is he didn't hold both sides. So it kind of pushed everything out on the other side. I'm going to make him have that one. Nope. No, I'm just kidding. But listen, I don't care. It looks and smells yes, absolutely it. unbelievable. And I will tell you, I can't wrap my mind around what this is going to taste like. So I can't wait to dig in. And yes, you it can't. is I'm really telling you. chilly out here. Yes. So I want to dig in quick. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. It looks, it looks exactly like I wanted it to. It does look amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, oh can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can, absolutely. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for not. You want that one? Yep. Give me the broken one. Yep. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My brother. <laughs> oh. mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Flavor, flavor, flavor. Anyone know Guy Fieri? Because uh, we may have just have, have a new entrance to uh, Flavor, Flavor Town. Town. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's better than I remember it from the restaurant. The bacon is cooked to perfection. It's crispy. The guacamole gives such a freshness because the lime juice that's in there, of course, the tomato and the onion. And of course, it just adds the brightness to it. Would you add anything to it? Not at all. And that's what I'm going through here. My biggest yeah. takeaway here, the crispiness of the bacon mm -hmm. is spot on but it is a mix of the, the citrus and lime in that guacamole. Yes. Mixed with the like perfect texture of the burger. The one thing I'm not getting strong notes of are the cheese, but it's there in a creaminess. Yes. So good. Yep. This is honestly a perfect burger. That That's a good way of putting it. It's absolutely perfect. You would, when you first think about guacamole on a mm. burger and, and it's not, um, it's not like a taco burger, which we have in the works coming up, which we right. could put guacamole on. It doesn't taste like a, a Latin inspired, Mexican inspired at all. It it's its own individual thing. I'm completely blown away. I'm completely so happy you did this. Okay, good yep. calling that yep. one. Because I didn't care to do this one. I kept putting it off and Brett's like, listen, That's correct. this bacon guac burger. The guacamole is good. We we, we love the guacamole yep. we make. We really do. It yes. is really good. Key to that is finding really good avocados, making sure they're nice and ripe. And then as soon as you've got that, you're good to go from there. I keep staring at the burger. I'm looking over here at the <laughs> burger because I really want to finish that burger. That it's is so good. so good. It's just like in the mouth, it just tastes like more. So good. And again, like we always say, this is a way that I determine whether or not this is really a good... Uh, item. If, if I went to a restaurant for that, I'm going back to the restaurant yep. for that. In fact, can I tell you honestly when it, what I keep like I keep thinking? Yeah. I know I love Hurricane Grill and I've never been there for it, but I keep thinking, man, when I've had a good burger at Chili's or another restaurant yeah. chain like that, that's what this. This isn't a fast food burger. Not at all. This is absolutely not. And you know what? I we are missing from so Hurricane or Gator BTW. What's that? They're Parmesan fries. Oh yeah, we need a <laughs> side of Parm fries. Yes, we which, do. Which I do make some killer Parm fries. <laughs> yes, he do. does. We've done them before, but uh, we may have to. Uh, Bring them back to the pit boss for sure. Dish for sure. But Brett, this was so awesome, and I love this. If you enjoyed this, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support our channel and what we do. Yep. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise store. There's a link to that in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. It works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their service. And Brett, yes. we also have a Patreon page. Yeah, we do. Shout out to our Grid Entourage. We love you guys so much for your support. And if you'd like to find out more information on our Patreon, that is down below as well. All right. Thank you so much to our Patreons. We really do love you guys and as we've said over the past couple of weeks more is coming and we can't wait to share that yep. with you i got nothing else to add nope to let's go amazing. i'm aside, starving aside from coming to make this amazing banger this gua bacon guacamole burger yes why else are we doing this because all we do is twin no matter what and with that we bid you adieu and don't forget to like and subscribe and griddle on, on.